John chapter 14, Jesus is preparing his disciples for a monumental event. Today is day four of Love Week, a day that we find drawing closer to the cross, bringing us even closer to the day that our Savior resurrected from the dead, a day that we celebrate with great joy and look forward to with great anticipation. In John 14, the disciples and Jesus had just finished a meal together, a meal that we know as the Last Supper, the Last Supper that they would share together on earth, the last time they would see their Savior before He was crucified. And as they go to leave the supper, Jesus begins to teach them. He tells them, guys, I'm going to prepare you because I'm leaving. And where I'm going, you can't go. But you know where I'm going. At that point, one of the men speaks up and he says, hey, where are you going? We want to go. Why can't we go with you? We've been with you this whole time. And Jesus says, I'm going to my Father and I'm going to prepare a place for you. He said, but if I go, I will come back. And he said this to them at this point in one of the greatest statements ever mentioned in all of history. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody goes to heaven unless they go through me. In John 14, 6, Jesus makes a statement that we could just breeze right through. But in our culture today, people don't want to recognize Jesus as the way. Some people are fine with him being a way, but when we talk about him as the way, something changes. People don't like being told that they have no other options, but in this situation, they do. You have two, to choose Christ or to reject Christ. And I tell you, for me, I like the, I like the simplicity of that statement because the fewer choices the more simple the decision is. What's your decision? Have you chosen Christ as your Savior? Or maybe for most of your life you've chosen to reject Him as Savior. <laughs> Here's one of the greatest truths about Jesus. It doesn't matter how many times you've rejected Him. He stands here waiting for you to accept Him as the way, the truth, and the life. Do you want to go to heaven? There's only one way to get there, and that's through Jesus. Let's pray together. Jesus, I thank you that you paved a way for us. I'm so grateful that you made it so simple for us to see. But Lord, it is so many times so difficult to follow. Father, today, would you take this moment, this opportunity, for someone that's struggling, that wants to see a picture of you, to know that God, you have not left them. You loved them so much, you gave them your son, that if they would just believe, they wouldn't perish, they would have everlasting life. Even now, I pray that they would take a moment to believe in you, confess you as their God and Savior, and rely on you as the only way to heaven from this day forward. In Jesus' name, amen. Come and join us on Sunday mornings at the church at Southside. We meet at 9 and 11. We invite you to come and see what makes us different. You are my Savior.